And where's, so if we look at real estate agents specifically, what's some of the biggest mistakes that real estate agents are making at the moment? Commission breath, short game. So what actually happens, instead of them building a relationship, they try and win business. And because they try and win business, the person they're dealing with picks it up. They don't care about me, they care about themselves. So what they're doing is they're counting score each day. And what they're saying is, I need that sale. So when you show up with, I need that sale, when you're sitting there in front of the client, the energy comes out, Mm. I want your money. When you're building a relationship, the conversation is totally different for a real estate agent. It's like this, like you're the client, Nathaniel. Mm -hmm. I want to let you know, today I'm going to ask you a few questions to see whether I can help you. If I can, I'll tell you what we do, how we do it, and what the next steps are. If I can't, it's totally okay. I might even refer you to someone. But I want you to know it's totally all right if nothing comes out of today except me meeting you. The difference is that one is about I want something now. The other one is I'll take something when you're ready. Today, I'm here to serve you, provide you information. I think that is probably the biggest difference between a good guy and a bad guy, good girl, bad girl. The other thing I I think um, is that um, they don't understand that we now are all media companies. I know I'm rehashing terms that your audience has probably heard before, but every individual now is basically a media company. So when I add, when I add my YouTube subscribers, my LinkedIn connections, my Facebook audience, my email list, my real estate gym members, my speaking at conferences. When I add up all that audience, that audience far exceeds the audience of many magazines that are sold. So I'm a media company and guess what? When you're a media company, you've got to be the editor, the sub editor, the content creator, content curator, you've got a personal responsibility. And I'm constantly, I'm thinking, like for one thing is that people may have not noticed in my content recently, Nathaniel, is I've diluted the use of the F word. Oh really? Yeah, I don't use it as much anymore. I mean, it's it's weird. Like I had, used to have a lot of people say, oh, I get turned off, I didn't care. I just did my own thing and it was working. Yeah, right. But I had, I had it was a monk out of all the people. A monk changed my thinking because okay. I went to the Central Coast. Well, the other bad thing, <laughs> I had a bit of bad luck, you know, in the last, uh, my little, I had a younger brother, my only sibling, and he passed away. I'm oh, sorry to hear that, mate. And, and that devastated me, right? So that's, that's, that's another thing, you know, when, when you lose when you lose a loved one and he passed away now 14 months ago and um, so I took my mum to a, a, a to a she's very religious and I took her to a retreat um, sorry not a retreat a, a, a monastery let's call it on the central coast and I met a monk there and the monk by coincidence ended up knowing who I was and what I did and he made a very valid point he says you strike me as someone that likes to make an impact mm. And I said, yeah, I do. And he goes, and my worry is that you're making an impact on X amount of people, but on the fringes are a bunch of people that probably love everything you say, but when they hear that F word, their upbringing, their values, just the way that they are, they might disconnect. So one of the questions you've got to decide is, do you want to have a bigger impact? Mm -hmm. And... He was a very intelligent person because he was the QC, ex-QC of Jeff Kennett, who decided to become a monk. He said, and the question you've got to decide is, do you think by reducing the use of the F word, what will happen is the audience that you've got, will they feel like they're getting ripped off because you've diluted it? And... um, I don't know 100% what the answer to that is, but early stages show that um, it hasn't made a difference to that audience that already follows me. And in fact, what's happened is we now got incredible statistics on Facebook that shows in the last six months, our Facebook engagement's gone 
to fifty thousand a week. So, mm. um, Nathaniel, I think that, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, look, there's, you would, may have caught their attention at the start with it. Yeah, but they know the value you provide, and it's got nothing to do with whether you swear or not. Yeah, yeah. and I think what it is is look for me. It was a big rearrangement because mm. I speak to you. The same way I speak at a conference. Yeah. The same way I speak to my friends. So for me, <laughs> it was I had to actually change the way I am all the time. So for me to stop yeah. swearing <laughs> at a presentation yeah. or on a video, it meant I had to stop swearing when I'm talking to my mates. I, I said to, I said to Tom, I said when I spoke to you on the phone, I said, "Oh, he sounds exactly like he does on the videos." Yeah, <laughs> exactly I'm, 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 I'm the same. I'm the same. Like I speak. The one thing that people will always say when they meet me, oh, I thought, you know, like you're really down to earth. I speak to the CEO the same way I speak to the person that I pick my car up from at News Corp. So there's a car park attendant. I speak exactly the same way. And he's actually said it to me. He goes, I can't believe it. You speak to me the way that you speak to the CEO at News Corp, you speak to me. I speak to the waitress the same way I speak to a client I might be auctioning uh, and they own $40 million worth of real estate. I speak the same way. And you know what I notice? People like it because what happens is they automatically, if they're intelligent, mm. they work out, here's the real deal. Yep, absolutely. And they then drop their mask off and mm. then you connect. I agree, yeah, yeah. awesome.